Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, and this is going to be more of just a laid back thing, not really scripted. Back in 2018 when Smash Ultimate was announced, I had a call very similar to this with my good friends Petter. Hello. And Jordan. Hey guys. And um, now Smash Ultimate's over and we're going to do it again. Yeah. It's been three yeah. and a half years. <laughs> it is wild to think that Ultimate <laughs> is done. Or I mean, yeah. it's done in the sense of it's it's a finished game, I suppose. It's it's complete in that in that regard. But I feel like Content we're still going to be playing it for years to come. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um, Except for Jordan, who plays competitively and is immediately going back to melee. <laughs> well, hey, hey, I don't play melee. <laughs> oh, you, not oh, like you that don't? at least. Not like that. Okay. Like I play, but I don't I mean, play like actively. They don't have ah. they don't have villager in melee. What's he supposed to do? <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Hey, I'm not a villager main anymore. <laughs> oh. I haven't been for like since the first DLC of Ultimate. We haven't played Smash Bros together in a long time, have we? We should no. we should talk a little bit about our mains at the moment. Like what what characters we enjoy playing as the most? Maybe maybe. Um, yeah, yeah that's I'm good. down with that. Uh, well then, fine then, Jordan. Who is your main now? Joker. <laughs> ah. Um, that that been, makes sense. No, I've been a Joker main since he uh, was announced. That that makes complete sense. I remember um, now. I, I had completely forgotten because I feel like you were you were a villager main for such a long time, and I just kind of had that ingrained in my mind. But I, I do remember when you mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I might uh, switch to Kazuya. Ah, right. Um, and just kind of has Joker, have Joker as a secondary, because I've been really, really enjoying Kazuya, and, uh, Kazuya's just a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't, I can't really say much more than that about him, he's just a fun character. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't played him too much. I actually, I haven't played, well, I, I mean, I've played all the characters at least to, to some extent, but I haven't played at, le at least the later DLC ones a whole lot, uh, so far, but, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So for me, um, my mains remain Marth and Roy, uh, Captain Falcon, Ganondorf, Terry. He's a new one. I really picked up Terry, and I love playing as him. Nice. Terry's but, a lot yeah, of fun. But he is. He really is. What like, even as somebody who I'm not great with button combos, he still just feels good to play. Right. <laughs> what about Crom? If you like Roy, I guess you'd like Krom too. Krom's just worse, no. Roy. Oh, in it, my he opinion, he is worse in <laughs> every way. And as somebody who makes a lot of use of Roy's up special, I, I can't get into Radiant Aether. What What are so. the differences again between Roy and Krom? Uh, Roy can actually uh, angle his up special and ah, doesn't just die yeah. because he can do that. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and meanwhile, Roy's Krom damage just has Ike is... up special. And Roy's damage is based in the uh, the hilt of the weapon instead of all being in the tip or throughout the whole weapon. Gotcha. Krom is only technically a Roy Echo. He's really a Fire Emblem Echo in general. He's got a little bit of everyone. Oh yeah, yeah he's got a little much. bit of Ike too, right? Or yeah. A little bit of Ike through that up special, a little bit of Marth through the tipping. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. That, that that is interesting. <laughs> Although the the Smash website lists him as basically an Echo Fighter for Roy. He but, is, and he has a lot of the same like physical characteristics of Roy. He's just got slightly altered probably, moves. Yeah. Mm. He is probably the most different of any of the Echo Fighters. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And I guess. And I guess while we're talking Echo Fighters, I also play Daisy. Oh, oh, nice. Well, yeah, Daisy's a lot of. I prefer <laughs> Daisy. She has the best like colors too, like for alternate costumes. Yeah, yeah her red and black costume is fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah that's is. right. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. What are her differences technically between like uh, comparing her to Peach? If you guys know. I like don't negligible know. if there are any. Right. I mean, I'm sure there's like some little like maybe like stat thing that differs perhaps, but yeah, I, I have no like, clue. 
like I said, if there Daisy's is one, Daisy's a little it's shorter than Peach, mm -hmm. which means she has a smaller hitbox. <laughs> Actually, well, speaking of Echo Fighters, uh, Dark Pit is probably still my number one main. Uh, really? Yes. I mean, obviously, I love Pit too. The differences aren't that big, obviously. But I, I, I do like, I do like. Uh, I think his side B is stronger than Pit's, or maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely wrong about that. I, I, I like Dark Pit for the theme though, because I, I like this character in, in Uprising. Uh, yeah, his side B has some slight differences. It has like uh, electric properties and it can that's like right. spike people. Yeah, I think so. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I just feel like well, p partially I enjoy him like flavor-wise more, but also maybe slightly more also technically, even though both are obviously perfectly fine to me. Um, Inkling became a huge favorite of mine, uh, or like another favorite of mine uh, with with this. Well, with Ultimate uh, as well. She's like my daughter. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, All right. Yeah, hmm. it's like I can't say she's my waifu, but I'll say she's my daughter. Okay, I guess that's more acceptable, right? I guess totally. Uh, and I, <laughs> Yoshi and and uh, Toon Link and Lucina, just to mention a few others uh, that I really love to play as. Yeah, those are fun ones. Hell yeah! Yeah. Uh, well, here's another question. Even if it's not somebody you play, who's your favorite newcomer? Newcomer to this game? Yes. So that, that, that's including the DLC characters and the the, the just basic basic. New Let, ones. Let's start with base roster and we'll kind of move on. Okay. Well, I mean, I already said mine is Inkling. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent, hands down. I, you know, yeah, I think for base roster, Inkling is probably my favorite as well. Um, mm -hmm. I think Inkling being added is just natural you know oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um yeah. and i didn't really care too much about some of the well although simon and richter are really fun too they are in, a lot of fun i was in, really hyped for that one in the sense that like it's just nice that they're there you know definitely yeah at the end of the day i think their movements are a little too clunky they're a little too slow for me to enjoy them but I, I am very happy that they're there. Right, yeah, like, Castlevania deserves representation in Smash. A hundred percent, and they'd yeah. be good. Yeah. For me, I'm gonna say my favorite was King K. Rool. They oh. really did that man justice. Nice, yeah. <laughs> and that also gave us the new Gangplank Galleon, which is one of my favorite songs in Smash history. Gangplank Galleon's pretty good. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm not even a huge fan of the original Donkey Kong Country version, but what they did with Smash was fantastic. I guess it, Isabel deserves a little bit of praise too, because I think she's a really fun sort of variant or, or or option or like alternative to to Villager. I can agree with that. Um, she's got she has... plenty of differences that I feel like mm. her being her own character is just good. You yeah, know? for sure. Yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, I do think she has one of the most annoying moves in the game, being that stupid fishing pole, but... Oh, I love fishing pole. Oh, wait. <laughs> now, the fishing pole's fantastic. It is. Oh, it is. It 100% is. I just don't play her enough to love it. Yeah. So instead, I hate it. But, yeah, she is. she was done really well, especially for somebody people were convinced was going to be an Echo Fighter. Yeah, they were for such a long time that if Isabel got in, it was Echo. Right. Were, were people actually like speculating that she would be a fighter before it was announced? People thought yeah. it was possible because huh. of how popular um, Isabel was. Yeah, right. I was actually in the minority for arguing it should be Tom Nook instead of Isabel if we got another Animal Crossing rep. Yeah, I, I was with you right there. Mm. I also think Tom Nook would have been fun. Though I don't think it was a, you know, Tom Nook should have been in instead kind of deal for me. That's fair. Yeah. At the end of the day, Isabel's done well. I'm not going to complain. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. She's great. Yeah, hopefully there aren't many people who can complain. 
about yeah. Isabel. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm sure there's someone. <laughs> Absolutely someone, <laughs> but... Oh well, they can complain. Yeah, let them. Yeah. What about a DLC? What's everyone's favorite DLC character? So, maybe I have a an unpopular opinion here, but overall, I'm not saying every single one, but overall, I was not all that into the DLC characters for this game. Really? Over uh, all 12 of them? Well, like, well like, no, no, like, like, like in general, like just looking at them as a batch, I was sort of disappointed, or I'm not disappointed, probably the wrong word, but I, I, most of them aren't characters that I was super into. Uh, Piranha Plant is probably my favorite. <laughs> But, um, but uh, it, I'm still Piranha not. Plant definitely like, leads not to uh, play a lot. Definitely leads to one of my favorite stories. Um, oh. where uh, one of my roommates in college. This is kind of a side tangent. One of my roommates in college just didn't grow up playing Nintendo. He didn't. He played Blizzard games growing up. But between myself, one of our other roommates, and his girlfriend, he slowly got to play more and more Nintendo games. Nice. At one point, we were playing Mario Kart. Like any man of culture, he chose Waluigi to play as. <laughs> and at one point, he picked up the Piranha Plant item. And I just turned to him and said, Wesley, how do you feel if I told you that the character you're playing as is not in Smash Bros., but the item you're wielding is? <laughs> he was like, yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> that's that's, that's so all I have funny. to say. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Pir Piranha Plant's trailer was fantastic. Overall, just very good. Yeah, I, I love all of the different moves of Pir Piranha Plant, and I guess, like, the weight and movement is also something, I guess, that, that appeals to me. If I had to pick another one, it would be Steve and Alex. Although, yeah, like I haven't played them that much. It's just, it's more so for, well, the, the fact that they're Minecraft, and, and, and because I had been wanting a Steve character in Smash label, so... Steve and Alex is pretty funny as a character. For sure. Very unique. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. For me, my favorite I was Terry. I really enjoyed playing him, and then through that I actually started getting into King of Fighters a little bit, and I'm terrible, but those games are a lot of fun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, that that's something that, that Smash is so good with, is how it can introduce you to to other gaming series. Definitely. Like, I, I love that about Super Smash Bros. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, it's just a fantastic, like, smorgasbord of fantastic games from gaming history. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Jordan, I'm assuming your favorite is Joker. You would assume that, but honestly, it's really tough. Oh, um, that is fair. <laughs> I uh I really like Sephiroth. It's a really Belef. Oh. Like Sephiroth is uh definitely fighting for my favorite, I would have to say. Yeah. Um his inclusion feels like natural, but at the same time felt like it came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. So for me Sephiroth was just a very, very pleasant surprise. And, uh, I think s alongside Joker, Sephiroth's reveal was probably my s my favorite. You know, Joker's reveal, I don't think there's anything that can really beat that. But the Sephiroth reveal was just, just as good. You know, let's talk about that. What were you guys' favorite reveals for this game? Ooh. Well, I think I just said mine. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um... <laughs> there was a lot of humor in a in a bunch of them too. Like the uh, yeah. the Kazuya reveal was really funny. Yeah, that, that was definitely probably the one I laughed for laughed to the most. I think. Yeah, I, all around I think there's only a single bad reveal, and that was Byleth. I don't remember that one. They oh, that's probably why. They pretty much just replayed why. a cutscene from the game, and we're just like, here you go, that's the trailer. We're just going to dub over some of the words. That's it. Oh, that sounds familiar now that you mention it. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was maybe not so fun. 
I'm gonna say my favorite was possibly Terry. I really wish that the idea of an SNK character hadn't been leaked earlier, but I think that was so fantastically well done. They put in so many characters. <laughs> you know, all of that original art style. And... Yeah, I think the Terry reveal was really good. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing... I can't really say too much bad about... Uh too many of the character reveals like like you said i think just violets was bad really <laughs> yeah and so, i guess for me though and I, I don't have one that i'm like super i guess crazy about i guess uh like we said kazuya's was a lot of fun but if i'm gonna have to pick a favorite i'm gonna actually even though it's not a character that i care for particularly i'm gonna pick zora's reveal Oh, Zora's fair. is so good. Because it was I so can... it was so mysterious, and I loved like how and you know you, you get we get to see all of the other characters turn into like the toys or like the the statuettes, you know, which was a fun nod yeah. to like the history of we got... Smash Bros. and and uh, and then he came Simple in and clean playing in the background, and, and, even though we can't have it. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and obviously, like, I I've never played uh, Kingdom Hearts. So I don't really care for it personally. But I know so many others do, so I, I, I understand it was a massive moment for a lot of people, so I, I can sort of understand that. Yeah, yeah Sora's pretty big. Yeah. I have a bunch of friends who are just, like, Team Sora all the way, and <laughs> when Sora actually came, they lost it. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people in that camp, and I... Even though I wasn't necessarily in that camp, it still felt like a solid ending to the game. Right, exactly, exactly. It's it's uh, he's definitely a worthy last character, and because because and, and also it reminded me or it made me think of something that I because I I remember back in when I, when I was like 15 or 16 in school I I had a presentation about the history of, of Nintendo as a company and this is a slight little tangent but it's related to this I promise. Um, so basically back then and oh my god that's like over over 10 years ago at this point of shit. Uh, but I, I did a lot of research about Nintendo as a company and obviously you know, since you know it's existed since 1886 or something like that if I recall. Uh, yeah, it's, it's an it's old company. A really old company, yeah. Uh, and back in 1959 they struck a deal with Disney uh, to make make it so that they would be able to have Disney characters on their playing cards because it was a playing card company at the time. Uh, yeah. So that 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 was, I guess, their first uh, sort of co cooperation with Disney, and and now and now this happens with Sora. Obviously, Sora isn't, I guess, completely a Disney character, but he still comes from a series that is very much tied to Disney properties. And the closest so. the all the gameplay we have is Duck Hunt. <laughs> and, and I mean, we have we saw like the the key the keyblade has like a Mickey symbol on it, right? It yeah. does. It has Mickey uh, the Mickey Mouse symbol. Right, so even though There's none of the Disney, Disney characters Disney. are there, we still have that very, very typical Disney emblem or whatever, you know, right there. So, uh, it, yeah. I, I just thought it was fun, like, you know, like uh, 50, over 50 years, over 60 years later, uh, for Nintendo to have a, co a collaboration like that again with, with uh, Disney. Yeah, I can agree that it's a pretty cool collaboration. I think maybe Sora, even though I enjoyed the reveal, I think Sora's reveal was a bit upsetting for me. Oh. Um, yeah, I think I was just like, it's too obvious. And I kind of just wanted any other character. <laughs> That's fair. Wasn't yeah, he the most you requested were... character like in one of the Pauls yeah. a few years back? Yeah, in yeah. the Smash 4 character, mm. um, the ballot that gave us Bayonetta. Right. Yeah, actually, I do remember, yeah, you were actually pretty disappointed after that reveal. I was. The two I, of us like, talked about it a little bit. I think he's a great include in the game. I'm just like, eh, whatever. It's Sora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just, he, uh, as I said, like, I... I don't care for him personally, but I, I still feel like he is absolutely worthy uh, of being this this last addition to Smash Ultimate. Yeah, yeah. he's a worthy addition for sure. 
100 percent Next year we're going to talk about the last reveal before we get too far out. I also want to talk about the first major reveal. Well, I guess second. Everyone yeah. is here. <laughs> yeah, every... <laughs> that snake Petter reveal. just absolutely nailing that one. <laughs> it was my uh, wishful I'm thinking mad. somehow coming true. <laughs> Nobody believed it would happen except for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, yeah, they'll all be back. And we're like, nah... <laughs> <laughs> There's too many licensing rights. What are you talking about? They can't get hey, well, all they, of them. How back. are they even going to get Cloud back for a second time? There's no way that's going to be able to happen. Yeah, yeah we, we can't have Cloud again. <laughs> what? Next, you'll be saying they're going to put Sephiroth in the game. Uh, oh, uh, Sephiroth's in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I got lucky there. I. In, but both in the sense that I, I was I was lucky that I was right, but I was also lucky that my wish came true. Uh, just in general, yeah. I was so I was. I, mean, happy I think we all that. really were lucky for that because that true. really that set the tone for this entire game. So 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 true. There is one character though that's sort of not there. Again, if, depending on how you look at it, and that's uh, Charizard from Smash Four. Uh, okay, well, you're what, what do you guys think of that? Strings now. Yeah, I know, I know. Charizard I, from Smash I, 4 <laughs> plays pretty much exactly the same as. Oh well, no! It, it's he lost his down B. He, oh, he terrible. did. He did though. Like, that was a nice down B. He lost yes. Rock Smash. Whatever Rock Smash? Will we do? Rock Smash was one of the moves that you loved the most about him in in Smash 4. Oh, don't 4. get me wrong. I love Rock Smash. Right. Rock you Smash lost was one great. move to gain two entire extra move sets. <laughs> but that. <laughs> but but yo, but they they, they they split Zelda from from Sheik. They they could have made like one Squirtle, one Ivysaur, and one Charizard character. I personally yeah, would have probably Squirtle preferred that. And, I don't think Squirtle and Ivysaur would really be quite as interesting on their own. Charizard's the only one that really can stand on its own. I don't know. See, I think it depends. You on how they say that, and it. then I think I can can side with uh, I can side with Petter here. <laughs> and my only thing I can I can say to side with Petter is uh, Project M. Ah, I oh they did yeah. that in that one. Uh huh. Interesting. The Pokemon were separate in Project M. Gotcha. Yeah, like, I, I completely, right. like, I, cause, yeah, like, as I said, like, since they split Sheik and Zelda, and, I mean, they, uh, even before that, right, they split uh, Samus from Zero Suit Samus, like, why, why not split these as well, sort of, but, well, well. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, I, I think maybe it's just, I, the whole thing is weird because they're like oh we're gonna keep them separated for simplicity for uh smash 4 you know mm. and like i think they kind of put themselves in this weird corner where they did separate sheik and zelda samus and zero suit mm. and gave them they gave zelda some new moves right as a result because of that right yeah and, at the very least the down b at least and even zero suit had a new move as a result and that new move like became such a big part of her kit and same thing for zelda that they're like well we can't put them back together now <laughs> and like all charizard lost is rock smash yeah you know plus they had two more pokemon to get in there and the character is pokemon trainer not Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. True. That is true. very true. Yeah. It's just, I guess for me, I always preferred to play a Squirtle uh, out of the, the three Pokemon Trainer Pokemon. So I would have loved to have like Squirtle as its own uh, yeah, as its own playable character with with a full a full set of moves without sacrificing one move slot for for switching Pokemon. Yeah, that's definitely fair. I think. Squirtle and then Charizard is is uh, how I like to play. Like mm. Ivysaur is a bit difficult to to process. I see so plenty of speak. people choosing to play as Ivysaur though uh, a lot. 
Yeah, it depends on like what you, who you're going up against. But that's me getting into it in a competitive kind of mm. sense, you know. Right, right. 